Hello and welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I'm looking at, uh, of all things, home delivery food services, which have uh, grown in popularity over the last few years. So I'm doing a series of videos, and uh, if you look at this woman's face, some of us maybe um, aren't nearly as happy as she is cooking, so uh, as a result, we often uh, sign up for a home food delivery service. Um, so what I'll do in a series of videos here is look at each of these. I will uh, focus on a Blue Apron, also look at uh, Freshly, Gobble, HelloFresh, Home Chef, and Terrace Kitchen. And I may add more of these in the future if I try more. Uh, these are the ones that we've tried so far. Um, and throughout the video, I'll talk about uh, why people uh, sign up for these food delivery services, um, some of the advantages, disadvantages, and try to get into as many issues as I possibly can, giving you this video overview of each of these uh, food services. And I should say, at the end, I'll also have another video that will uh, talk about them all in tandem and offer you a comparative perspective. So what you could do is when you go to YouTube, um, you can go to my playlist that specifically focuses on these um, home food delivery services. Now we can certainly say that these uh, food delivery services have grown in uh, popularity. I think a lot of this can be attributed to uh, cultural um, uh, issues we have relative to our time and how much we work and how much we're willing to spend on um, foods, convenience foods or whatever. Also maybe a decline in interest in, in going out to eat. Um, now the other side of it is that I read an article recently in Food & Wine that um, investors have held off a little bit on some of the uh, um, capital money that they're putting into these food services. Uh, big investments have come already but there's some skepticism about whether or not these um, services will last. I read one study that said, interestingly enough, that with one of these services, I won't mention which, I'm not trying to you know, prom promote or uh, criticize any of them, but one of them saw that only 70 or about 75% of the folks who signed up for a service actually stuck on with the service after a period of months. So retention is clearly a, a pretty big issue with uh, some of these services. So I should say a little bit about um, maybe some of the concerns that people have or reasons that they end up signing up for one of these uh, food delivery services. Um, one of these certainly is convenience. Um, sometimes you don't want to have to plan your recipes or even go to the store and shop for your food. Again, a lot of this relates to our cultural issues that we have. It can take a lot of time to shop and some people don't want to buy frozen meals or even go out to eat. So convenience tends to be a big thing with the food delivery services. Now we can also think about maybe some concerns you might have. Um, the cost of the, the food uh, delivery services varies um, from company to company. In general, you can get something around $9.99 per um, serving. Now, some practical concerns might be um, the calendar. How often do you have to order? Are you committed? Most of these services do not lock you in, and you, you do have to go online and, and skip um, some of the weeks if you don't want a delivery, and I'll get into some of the practicalities of that later. You might also be wondering about the time involved. Um, the time varies radically. Um, with Freshly, basically, you stick it in the micro and it's ready in three or four minutes. With a lot of the other ones, like Blue Apron and Home Chef and uh, Gobble, it's quite a bit of, of cooking time. I'll also talk about the uh, quality. And um, you know, I would say I, I'm not gonna promote one service over another, it's very subjective, but the quality of all the services I find to be quite good in terms of the taste of the food. Um, some of it is, of course, preference on what you like to eat and your food um, you know, preferences. Um, concerned about ecology and waste, so you might wonder about what's the packaging like, and I will do an unboxing for each of the services, and indeed waste can be an issue. Um, so as I just mentioned, for each of the videos, each of the services, I'll take you through the unpacking of the boxes, what you get, talk about the waste issue a little bit, get into the cooking, I'll show you some of the cooking videos, and then also I'll have a discussion about um, what I thought of the overall services. Um, I've, I'll take you through some of the recipe cards. I'll talk about the website, some of the practical issues, and, and so forth. So hopefully this will be helpful um, looking at these videos if you're considering one of these home food delivery services.